Dwarf Among Us is a prequel to the Fable comics. A series of comics I've not read yet. But I have played Telltale's Dwarf Among Us. In this video I'll look some reasons why Dwarf Among Us is awesome. Enjoying each episode of Dwarf Among Us is honestly one of the highlights for me. The overall tone and look of the intro reminds me of Drive starring Ryan Gosling. The colours are very similar as is the backing track in the intro. The intro gets you in a pumped and ready state of mind and works perfectly as an intro to the game and for Bigsby's character. Comic style graphics are perfect for the game and honour the source material of the Fable comics. The Wolf Among Us has a dark tone, but rather than going down that generic grey palette seen in most thrillers, it decides to go for a huge variety of colours. The use of colours works as a nice contrast to the dark tone of the story. The use of shadows in this game is also perfect, it's never overdone, works beautifully against the colours in the game. From the first episode, the game hooks you in. Bigsby Wolf is the sheriff of Fable Town. His latest case is the murder of a prostitute named Fate. As the story continues, we soon learn that there's a much bigger plot being developed. The game does a great job with each episode as Bigby follows different leads and slowly puts the mystery together. The weight is on Bigby's shoulder and this adds to the enjoyment of the story and develops Bigby as a character. The story is well paced and has several great twists before the final act. Wolf Among Us has a cast of characters that we're all very familiar with, but put a unique turn on their personality. Bigsby Wolf is the big bad wolf from Red Riding Hood, and he's the sheriff of Fable Town. Snow White is his partner. Beauty and the Beast are a married couple. Ichabod Crane is the mayor of Fable Town. Mr. Toad is a foul mouthed toad. The Huntsman is an alcoholic, and Colin, one of the pigs from the Three Little Pigs, is a chain smoker. The change to these characters doesn't hurt their legacy, instead it shows them in a different light. The quicktime events in the Wolf Among Us are extremely well done, and the fights are just some of the best in the game. That whore's gonna watch me Each fight is brutal as hell, and having, the, and having the option of where you want to throw your enemy is a refreshing change up. The fights are also extremely well staged and feel raw and brutal. The choice of how to end the fight is a nice touch, but if you were given the decision to rip a guy's arm off or walk away, the choice to rip a guy's arm off is always going to win. Investigating a crime scene is very well done, as it allows the gamer to embrace the environment of the game. The idea of discovering some new information on a second glance is applied here. A trained eye is important to finding the clues that is necessary to move the game forward. These moments are a nice break from the quick time events and the choices. It also allows the gamer to get more invested in Big B's character. If you haven't played the game, then give it a shot and if you, and if you have, play the game. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to.